Hey guys, welcome back to Quarantine Coder. So today I'm going to explain you what you can do when your Adobe Phone Gap build doesn't work. So in the past month in October, Adobe Phone Gap build was discontinued. Uh, what this means is that it won't get any updates from now on. So as I can show you, the site is working properly. Here it is written that Adobe has discontinued PhoneGap build and ended investment in PhoneGap and Apache Cordova. The website is no longer updated. Find out more details here. So what this means is the website is not going to get updated. It is not going to get updates from now on, but still it is in use. So you can still log in. Uh, you can still create an account on Adobe. You can still use the website, but it won't get any further updates from now on. So uh, as you can see, you can, I have told in the past video that you can upload HTML5, CSS and JavaScript assets to the phone gap build to make an app of your own. So apart from this, I have an alternative, which is Apache Cordova. So here you can see on the screen, we have create your first Cordova app. So I'm going to explain every bit of this documentation because uh, most of you all are asking what is the alternative of phone gap build the website is not working on my system and all that so i'm going to explain you what this is so you can still you uh, you can still make an html css javascript assets into an android app so now we are going to see first installing the cordova cli so i have told you in my previous video that how to install node.js how to install cordova and that so we are just going to go through all of that again so here you can see it's written download and install node.js on installation you should provoke node and npn as i said in my previous video you have to install node.js and you have to install the cordova plugin into the node.js so here's the details you can go through the documentation uh, the, i'm going to put this link in the description so that you can check it out again so you can see that on windows you have to write npn install minus g cordova and on os x or linux you have to do the sudo npn install minus g cordova so after these are installed you can just go on the node.js command prompt and create the app as cordova create file name so after this, you can add your own platforms to that. So for that, you have to write Cordova platform add iOS, Cordova platform add Android. So this will just configure all the files into the Cordova platform by configuring the app with iOS as well as Android. You can see the installing prerequisite for building. If you want some SDKs or some Java uh, JDKs into your Cordova platform, so you can run this command like Cordova requirements. I am going to put this documentation in the description. So do check it out if you want. And after that, you just build the app for iOS or as well as Android. It's just on you. If you have you are building from iOS, if you are building for Android, it's just on you. You have to build it as per all the platforms so here on the first command run the following command to build the project for all platform if you are just going to write build cordova build it will just build the project for all the platforms or if you are just planning to build it for a specific platform you can just write cordova build ios or cordova build android as in my previous video i told you that we can use the live preview option in the brackets so that you can see how it is going to look as a web page on your chrome browser suppose you are building an app for android and you have to like uh, keep in mind all the dimensions all that for your app apache cordova is very useful for emulating android so for that you have to just write Cordova emulate Android. So by this, you can just test your app on an emulator of Android. As you can see on the screen, you have some images that will show you how that app is going to look on the screen. So the first two images on the top are just emulator of Android. And in the images below, you can see here a uh, app called speech recorder which is built with the Cordova platform. And on the right side, you can see the Apache Cordova device is ready. That screen is going to show off when you are just uh, creating an app on Cordova platform. And one more useful thing is that you can just plug your headset onto the computer and test it directly on the phone. For that, you have to do Cordova run Android. So this command will just use 
the USB debugging on your phone and run the app on your headset. Now, after this, you can add your own plugins. You can search the plugins over the documentations here and you can add plugins to your apps, add platforms and so a lot of you guys have asked the alternative for Adobe Phone App build. So here's the alternative, Apache Cordova. You have to just write the commands on the Node.js command prompt on which the Cordova is installed. If the Cordova is not installed, that is not going to accept any commands. So first, remember that you have to install Node.js, then you have to install Cordova on the Node.js command prompt, then you can write your own commands and update the projects. For editing and like writing the code and stuff, you can use the brackets as usual. Like I said in the previous video, you can use the brackets as usual to write your HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this was helpful because so I was asked a lot of times that what is the alternative for Adobe phone gap build? It is not It is not working. It is uh, like discontinued and all that so i thought that i first have to like research a bit and uh, i have to find out the alternatives better this better alternatives because you have to like uh see what you are working on while you are working on so in apache Cordova, you can just emulate your android app or ios app onto the windows platform itself so hope you like the video comment down below your suggestions or questions that you want to ask and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, bye-bye.